Now let's write a program in order to print Fibonacci sequence uh, using recursion. Okay. So for this, uh, let us take a input as number. So int of input of you need to prompt the user to enter the number of terms. Okay. So how many Fibonacci terms you want to display as part of the Fibonacci series? Okay. So using for loop we can iterate right for i in a range of n. Okay. So for each and every term you can call the Fibonacci function okay that you have to define using recursion clear so print off okay so i'm calling simply fibonacci function okay fibonacci of this i value is passed so let us define the function like uh, define fibonacci of n okay so using recursion, we need to solve this problem. So as always, uh, Fibonacci sequence first two terms are uh, uh, basically, we can see here, uh, very first term. Okay. You can print it as uh, one, yes or no? And the second term is also one. Okay. So, I'll do like this. Uh, if suppose n value, okay. n value is equal to zero, okay. That is zeroth term, okay. I'm going to simply return zero, okay. If suppose uh, n value is uh, less than or equal to 2 in that case we can return 1 okay otherwise uh, if you look at uh, recursive calling the current term value represents uh, some of the previous two terms value right so return of uh, you call the same function that is Fibonacci of n is depending on Fibonacci of n minus 1 plus Fibonacci of n minus 2. Okay. So this is Fibonacci of n minus 1 plus Fibonacci of n minus 2. Okay. Just like this. So let's execute this one enter the number of terms for example if i am entering the number of terms as 5 you can see the result 0 1 1 2 3 okay if i enter the number of terms as uh, 20 you will get uh, 20 fibonacci terms here as part of the output clear like this